Okay, you finally done it. You finally decided to start that business. You've got a great idea for a product or you're finally ready to launch your consulting company. There's just one problem. You don't have any startup funding. Well, in this video, I'm gonna cover three steps that I've actually used twice to start, launch, and grow a business with zero startup capital. Hey everyone, I'm John Timmerman. I talk about the world's most exciting sales, marketing, and business strategies so that both you and I can grow our businesses better together. And today we're talking about three steps to launch your business without any funding. But before we do that, head over to my website, jtimmerman.com. You can find tons of content on all of this written content as well as templates and resources that I've used inside my own business to uh, streamline systems and improve scalability and growth. So jtimmerman.com. Okay, let's get into it. So the first thing that you want to do is to validate your business idea. It's the most important thing and it's something that a lot of us entrepreneurs skip because we're so damn passionate in our gut about our business idea that we forget to validate it. We just think that everyone's going to love it anyways, right? But I can't tell you how much money and time I would have saved if I went and I validated the businesses and the products and the services and the message and basically validated everything before you actually do it to prove that it's going to work. So you're asking, how do you do that? All right. The easiest way is to set up a landing page, write what makes it special, okay, and then drive traffic to that landing page to see if people, A, sign up, and B, even better, if they pre-buy it or pre-pay for that product or service. So you set up a landing page. There's tons of landing page builders out there. I think even MailChimp, which is an email marketing platform, has a landing page builder. So you could build your email list and you could do a landing page all in one. You could put PayPal checkout links on there if you decide to uh, offer people a pre-sale option. But whatever it is you're launching, set up a landing page and then figure out how to drive traffic to that landing page. You could use ex existing Facebook groups. You can use existing social media channels with your 100, 1,000, 5,000 followers. Uh, use whatever means necessary to drive traffic to that page to try to see if people will sign up for it and or buy it. It's the best way to validate it. I don't care if you're launching a shoe company or a landscaping company. Write what makes it special on that landing page. Get as much traffic to it as possible and see how many people sign up and or pre-buy that product or service. Okay, the second step is to work for free or give your products away for free or at least let people try it for free. And here's why. Right now, you have zero social proof. Nobody knows why you're special, why your product or service is great, all right? And just you saying it is not enough. They need some outsider's perspective. They need a third-party validation that what you're offering is good. So what do you do? If you're in the service business, go do work for free and ask people for testimonials and case studies, preferably on a video if you can get it, right? And if you're selling a product or you're offering a product, if it's low cost, give it away for free and ask for reviews. If it's a high ticket item, then you can let people try it. And here's my specific example. Uh, several years ago, my wife and I launched an athletic denim company and we had no credibility uh, you know, we had no reviews. There was no reason for anybody to think that these jeans were better than anybody else's, right? And we were direct to consumer, so we were only selling online. So what we did is we went to fitness events and we let people try the jeans on for free. And in exchange, we would give them a free t-shirt or a hat. But before we gave them the t-shirt or the hat, they had to leave us a review, an honest review. We didn't say leave us a five-star review. We said leave us an honest review on our website. That was responsible for the first 150 uh, five-star reviews because everybody met us and they wanted to give us a five-star reviews. They loved the jeans. So the first 150 five-star reviews came from letting people try those jeans on. And here's the kicker. In the process, we sold our first 30 to 50 jeans just by letting people try them on. So about a third of those people that tried them on ended up buying them anyways. So it built a bunch of social proof that we could use to further market our product, and it sold our first batch of jeans. So work for free. It is well worth the cost of time and or any you know small expenses that you have to put into that work for free. It is well worth the long-term growth and the social proof that you'll get from it. Okay, step number three is you need to get the word out. 
All right. You can use social media, especially if you already have the leverage of having a large social media community or even a small social media community. You can, of course, go onto those social media platforms and start posting about your product, your service, start sharing the five star reviews, start sharing the case studies and testimonials. I highly recommend it. Just start posting. Okay. Even if you get two or three people to start liking and commenting on it. It's a start, right? That's digital word of mouth. A lot aside from that, you can go in person to your network and start talking about the product, start talking about the service and sharing the reviews that you got from step number two. But the specific strategy I want to share with you is cold DMing and cold emailing. If you have a product or a service, it doesn't matter cold emailing and cold DMing and sharing the social proof from step number two will get you new business if you've got a good product and service and you got people to leave a good review uh, for it. How do you get the email addresses? There's a bunch of different lead generation uh, software out there. You can use Sales Navigator if you're looking in the B2B space. I would recommend that you cold email if you're in the B2B space. And I would recommend that you call DM if you're in the consumer space, because getting somebody's personal email is, uh, whether it's ethically correct or not, people just don't like it. They like their privacy. Okay. So cold emailing and cold DMing is a great way to get your first uh, bit of awareness after step number two. And you want to frame the message message very short and simple. Hey, so-and-so, I think you'd be interested in this. Here's why. Here's what others are saying about it. And here's the link if you think you're interested. You could send that via email. You could send that via DM. And the unfortunate part that is if you don't have funding, you've got to spend the time. And so this is where you need to focus the majority of your time to try to get your first sales. Cold emailing and cold DMing until you start to get your sales. It's going to take a long time, but this is a great way if you don't have any funding. This is actually how I got my first agency clients is cold emailing people and think and presenting what it is we do and why we think it's special. And it worked. We got our first clients that way. And we actually still do cold emailing to this day to get new clients. So those are my three steps to launch your business with no startup funding. If you find this valuable, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you love content about sales and marketing and business strategy. And if you have another entrepreneur or entrepreneur who's thinking about starting their business, share this video with them. Hopefully they can follow these same three steps to find the success that I did. Good luck, and we'll see you in the next video.